So we've played the Churchill Crocodile, we've played the CDT, and now it's time for this. The whatever this is Sherman. And for all intents and purposes, it is an easy ape. And this might actually be my favourite out of the three. So for our first game, we're on Live Oaks. Now, I am using Optics, Rammer and Stab, because you can actually mount a stab to this vehicle. And as you can see, it is plenty fast enough as well. Now, this thing doesn't really get armour. It is not a Sherman Jumbo copy, unfortunately. It would have been quite nice if it was a Sherman Jumbo copy, but it is the EZ8. So, the E8 variant of uh, the Shermans. Which, again, is a Tier 6 in the American Tech Tree. Uh, let's actually see if we can just put one into this guy really quickly. We can. Lovely. We can actually put two in. Finish him off. Oh, cool. Not quite. There we go. Quickly finish him off. And then we're going to dip down into the dip right here. Okay, so a pretty decent start. We get their light tank dealt with. I mean, they've still got one light tank left, but we've dealt with one of their light tanks. We have a, uh, a conga train going through the middle of the map. And what is probably going to happen is that the people that are sitting up here will get spotted in a second. If there is anyone. So we'll soon find out. That SU-100 Y looks like he wasn't really having a very good time. Let's go, along, let's go along here and just see whether or not we're going to get any shots on anyone. We have more than enough people to spot here, so... Oh, look, there's a Tetri version of our tank. We're not going to be able to shoot it because it's a little bit around the corner. I'm kind of surprised that there's no uh, tank destroyers up here. Usually there is. Crossing over to this and then we'll uh, see if we can spot anyone. But, I mean, this gun feels really, really nice. Like, the gun feels nice. I'm stuck on a pillar. That guy's in that bush there. I'm going to get our uh, fuel tanks back. He's moved. Oh, okay. Poor Hellcat. Try and be annoying. We've got to try and hit his hole. Which is a very, very slim shot. But I mean, as you can see, the turret seems pretty decent. But if you go hole down, it's okay. But the hull armor is awful. Like, really, really bad. And we are running out of ammo, which, uh, it's not great. Look at the gun depression, though. Look at that! Oh. Yeah. This, this is definitely the most flexible of all the tanks that, are in, that you can choose from the battle pass. Don't really have a shot in the Hummel, unfortunately. Oh, I do now. Let's finish this guy off, please. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Alright, we still have the SU-8 issue. Uh, be into APCR now. And I want to continue pushing forwards. Reason being is that everybody is over this way. But if I can try and get into position where my team can actually help me, then that's going to be extremely good. 
mean, we have shot 30, 35 rounds or something of standard rounds. So, you know, we're, uh, we're now just down to these. But I think we're going to die to this guy. Oh, we don't. Interesting. We actually managed to uh, get away with that. So I think the last guy is over that way, the E E8. I mean, we have the T50 behind us, which is a problem, but it shouldn't be that bad. I actually want to turn around for the T-50. Brilliant. Lovely. Hmm, can I get six kills somehow? You never know. I mean, we might as well fire a few. <laughs> you never know what you're going to end up hitting. I mean, 3,000 combined, though. How much health does he have? 300. Oh, he has a lot more than me. I mean,. The standard rounds have two, 128 pen, the premium rounds have 177, and the HE has, only has 38. The HE is pretty useless. I, I will admit. Good for knocking down buildings, though. Six kills. Lovely. And the artillery is over that way. So maybe we can get seven. Although me being on only 18 health is a little bit of a worry. Even just a little splash and I'm dead from the artillery. I mean, we're winning either way, but... What I'm going to do is just make sure he's not down here. Before going all the way into our base. Yep. So he's gone all the way into the base. I'm not too sure what his plan is, but... I mean, I think the KV-2 would have spotted him if he was going through the city. The SUA isn't a fast tank. It's not a fast SPG. So I don't really know where he could have ended up. I mean, maybe he's going through the middle of the map. Who knows? I don't know. Well, GG. 2,600 damage. Another 1,000 assistance nearly. And 6 kills. Apply. Very nice. Only a first class. Only a first class for 1,400 base. So yeah, this uh, this tank I think is the most flexible. Obviously, we're using optics because then we can get, uh, you know, over that four four five meters view range, four hundred and seventy with bounty. Um, we're using a rammer because we need the DPM, so we have two point six k DPM, which is really nice. Point three three accuracy again, very very nice, and good aim time. And then the stab to just combine everything together, give us really really nice gun handling. But yeah, as I spoke about in game, one hundred twenty eight pen for the standard rounds 177 for the premium and this is not really that great to be honest with you uh, but you do get more than enough uh, shells to actually have a very good game like even in that game with all the blind shooting and whatnot we still had enough shells at the end and then for field mods we take the left hand side the right hand side and then for this one i'm not even going to take anything the reason being is that i don't want the camo to be that bad 12 percent camo if I choose the left-hand side for turbo uh, tuning. But then if I choose the right-hand side, the reverse speed then goes down to 16. So it's a little bit annoying. I'm just going to leave that as not picking anything. Um, I think that's the best for this type of tank. 
Because I would still like to have some camo. Um, and honestly, 12% is not really that great. Right, safe haven. Tier 7s. So we need to be watching out for that. Um, what do I want to do? I don't really want to go into the middle. That's probably a very, very bad idea. Um, instead, I'm going to go into this wall. Yes, that's a... Yep. No, we're going to go up to... Uh, like the J... Uh, J4? J4-5 line? Um, and that should give us plenty of uh, ample opportunity. Hello, Mr. VK. I want you dead. I won't lie. Let's push this. Get up again. Let's not take one if we can help it. Wait until I'm unspotted. Okay. This is good. Let's try and help this guy out. Unfortunately, he dies before I can really do too much help. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is uh, not going to end well, is it, for anyone? Oh well, whatever. I mean, and my team, unfortunately, is just worse than the enemy, so... Rip. Well, surprise, surprise, we lost. I mean, I think that you get the idea, though, of this tank. Like, it is just a very, very good all-rounder. This is by far the best out of the three. I think the second is Churchill Crocodile, and then you have this. This, unfortunately, just suffers from no armor at all. Even though that the gun might be good on paper, it's really not very good in-game. This one is a really nice, like, punchy gun. Like, you know, it's very, very fast-firing and does enough alpha damage to kind of correspond with the reload time. And then you have this one, which is even more DPM, doesn't have as much alpha, but then you're a medium tank, so you're faster, you can get around the map some more, and of course you can mount stab, so it's super, super nice in gun handling. So I'd say if you're going to go for any of these, you go for this one first, and then the Churchill Crocodile, and then if you want to go for the third one, then get that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I, think, I really like this, this tank. Um, at the end of the day, though, Again, this is all for free, so just find one that you like, go down that ba that battle pass, get to level 50, and then you have yourself a free premium tank at tier 6. So you can't really complain about too much. But let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next video.